Hello, welcome back on tutorial um, video 2, which is on SWMM. In this tutorial, uh, we will draw the subcatchment area. Uh, the settings or the project defaults we already did, you can find in video 1. Now, and this is the SWMM environment. And uh, this is the study area we are going to redraw. So I'll keep here. So drawing is very simple. Here, what we do is we'll go to the um, uh, subcatchments. Subcatchments you can find under hydrology. This is a tribute. These are the under the map you have a tribute where various uh, uh, objects can be drawn. So click on the expand the tribute of uh, hydrology. Under that you have subcatchment. When you select the subcatchment automatically at the bottom you will have a green and uh, uh, green plus button and minus button and subcatchment will get displayed in the bottom window. If you click on this, you will get a pencil icon or you can also go to the projects and then add new subcatchment. When you do, it's as good as clicking the green button. You will uh, anyway get the pencil icon. So let's try to do this. So I'll get this uh, pencil icon and I'll be drawing it. See here, we in the previous lecture, we have selected the fill type as diagonal. That's why when you draw the subcatchment S1, S2, S3, the fill will be a diagonal, <clears throat> diagonal lines. So let's try to draw it. So when you complete this rectangle, just right click uh, so that the catchment will be drawn automatically. We'll start from here to okay. just right click. So S1 is drawn. Similarly, you can draw S2. We'll start from here. So S2 is also drawn. Let's draw S3. If you want to adjust them at later point, you can adjust, don't worry. And don't really worry to draw perfectly. Later on, uh, you can also adjust them. So I'm done with all the three catchments. You can see S1, S2, S3 are automatically generated because the prefix um, we have used for catchment is yes. So uh, this we have done in the defaults. You can see the subcatchment ID prefix is yes. Okay, and also you can see that uh, this is one part you have done. Next is you can draw the junctions. Let's complete drawing junctions. Junctions are J1, J2, J3, J4 and you have an outlet. Jensen's, you can get it in hydraulics under nodes. So let me uh, collapse this uh, tribute. Hydraulics, go to, let me expand hydraulics. Under that, you have links. So I just clicked on links. 
oh, sorry it must be nodes yeah nodes again uh, and again expired nodes you will have junctions so now uh, you click on this or go to the projects add junctions anyway so your icon will change put the junctions j1 this is the junction j2 and junction j3 and junction j4 yes we are done with placing the junctions next let us go to the outfall down below you have an outfall so click on this plus button you can now place the outfall so i have placed the outfall uh, later on now you can place the rain gauge uh, you can connect with conduits j1 and j2 are connected with c1 conduits you can get in links conduits so plus click on plus button or go to the projects add conduit either way c1 to c3 is one conduit c1 to c2 sorry one conduit c1 c2 to c4 c2 to c4 another conduit and c sorry j2 to j4 and j3 to j4 another conduit c3 yes and j4 to outlet j4 to outlet c4 conduit so you are done with the conduits uh, now you can add the um, rain gauge rain gauge you can get in hydrology rain gauges okay anyway it is there in the next add rain gauge you can either select from the product or click over here place the rain gauge somewhere here so you are done with this suppose if you want to make any adjustments you can do it so there are ways to do it select this icon Let's enter select the object suppose if i want to change this object select this object i can just get it down because in the picture it is showing a little bit down this is also let me make it a little bit straight okay small adjustments you can do it this is also straight because in the picture it is showing straight. Okay. Uh, likewise, I'm not very particular to apply the same for remaining. You can do it on your own. For the time being, I'm just uh, uh, completing my discussion on drawing. Now, let us try to link up with each um, um, subcatchment with the junction so that we will be going to do it next in order to get this window go to the subcatchment and double click so you will get subcatchment one under that click on the rain gauge rain gauge is gauge one it is for all that is you are referring to this gauge so select gauge one okay outlet outlet is you will get what are the outlet j1 j2 j3 j4 out of which you have to map j1 okay so write down j1 enter it will get automatically mapped similarly go to the catchment tool here gauge rain gauge one and j2 Catchment 3, gauge 1, and it is J, sorry, J3. I think you are done or completed.
and let's go to the next step. So, we have completed this. In the next step, we are going to add um, elevations for the inverters. For J1, we will be adding the uh, elevation inverters numbers. So this junction and outfalls of our drainage system need to have inverter elevations, right? And they will be uh, assigned. We will see how to assign this in the next video. So thank you for watching. In the next video, we will continue further on the same example.